Building your own base is not an easy task. It will require a lot of dedication and a solid plan. In this video, we will review in detail the key main aspects of base building. And after watching it, you'll know exactly how to build your own base in Project Zomboid. I chose this location to show you how to build a base because of its strategic positioning, having four lakes and vast woodland while being near the city. However, the path to get there was filled with zombies, so as you can see, I had to kill many of them. I'm thrilled to show you the base and guide you throughout the essential aspects of base building in Project Zomboid. In an upcoming video, I will show you the complete base, but in this one, we will be focusing on how to build it. Before we begin, smash a freaking like on this video and subscribe, since we are so close to hitting a thousand subscribers. And buckle up, folks, this is going to be a bumpy ride. As a new survivor in the city, your first task is to secure a temporary base to call home. But this isn't just any ordinary shelter, it's a place where you'll be able to gather the essential tools and items you'll need for survival. The list of items might seem daunting at first, but with these tools you'll be equipped to tackle the challenge of building your own base. You will need a knife, an axe, a hammer, a screwdriver, a ball pin hammer, a pipe wrench, a crowbar, a saw, a sledgehammer, and all the nails you can get. Each of these items plays a crucial role while building your base, but where can you find these tools? Look no further than the industrial areas scattered around the city, including warehouses, factories, and hardware stores. Don't forget to check out house garages and storage facilities as well, you'll never know what treasures might be hidden inside. Creating your own base from scratch presents a significant challenge, requiring multiple trips to gather all the necessary materials, tools, and food. Before leaving your temporary base, it's essential to focus on several key tasks, with leveling up your carpentry skill being the most critical one. With a carpentry level of 6, you can build stairs and rooftops for protection against harsh weather conditions, construct level 3 walls and create rain barrels for water and farming. Disassembling furniture found in various locations, such as houses, schools, restaurants, and banks, is the most efficient way to achieve this skill level. Additionally, prioritize gathering carpentry books, which provides a significant boost to skill levels. To turn your makeshift base into a true survivor's refugee, you'll also need to level up your electrical skill to level 3, which involves disassembling electronics like TVs, radios, and wristwatches, after reading the appropriate skill book. For more information on the best occupations for base building, check out the link to the occupations guide on the description. Owning a car is a must, so make sure to find one with high carry capacity. If you're lucky enough to come across a car trailer, even better. Remember, the more you can carry, the fewer trips you'll have to make. When choosing a spot for your base, use this map to your advantage. It provides detailed information on important landmarks and is much more user-friendly than the in-game map. Look for a location with plenty of nearby resources, especially woodlands, as you'll need a ton of planks to build your base. Seriously, we will be deforesting the whole forest in order to build our base, so keep that in mind. Access to water and food is essential for survival, so it is recommended to choose a location near a river or a pond to avoid struggling with basic necessities. Another important consideration is if you're playing on a multiplayer server, it is advisable to place your base in a secluded location to make it more difficult for other players to find you. In my case, I'm playing solo, so I'll be choosing this spot right here in Louisville because apparently I enjoy suffering. Also remember that the further you are away from the main cities, the fewer zombies you'll have to fight off, so don't be like me and pick an easier location. It will make your life much easier. Once you have found the perfect spot for your base, the first step is to plan the layout. Right click on the ground with the appropriate tools on your inventory to access the carpentry modules. Here you can construct anything you need, from doors and walls to chairs and beds. If you have a layout already, I suggest starting with the wall foundations to get a better idea of what the final product will look like. However, if you're feeling creative and want to experiment with unique layouts, begin with the flooring. This is cheaper than building wall frames, so if you make a mistake, you won't lose as many materials. To build a wooden wall frame, first open the carpentry option drop-down menu and select wall. 
then choose the wooden wall frame option while having all the necessary materials and tools. Next, hover your mouse over the spot where you want to lay the foundation and click to start the building process. With this foundation set, right click on the wooden wall frame to access a new drop down menu offering options for building either wooden walls or windows, which can be further improved depending on your carpentry skill level. Since planks and logs are heavy, consider installing a mod that allows you to use carts and trolleys to increase your carrying capacity. I'll leave a link to the mod in the description below for you to download. Don't forget to take care of your character's needs while out in the wilderness. Setting traps and campfires can provide food and drinkable water. Another useful tip is to start growing crops even before finishing the base. It only takes one minute a day to water the crops and you'll be more prepared for the future by growing your own food. Building door frames and wooden doors can be started once all walls and floors are set. However, the later requires doorknobs and door hinges, so it is recommended to collect plenty of those items while leveling carpentry back in the city. It is important not to build windows on the first floors as zombies are attracted to them like bees to honey. Instead, you can build your windows on the second floor to be more secure. Another tip is to build wooden floors on the water, which allow you to span the limits of your base and come up with many different ideas that wouldn't be possible otherwise. I place the stairs in that spot to access the rooftop and build wooden floors that function as ceilings for the base. I also built these spaces right here and there, and later in the video I will explain why this is extremely important. Now that the foundations are all set, it's time to decorate the base. I don't want you to live in a shack for the rest of your days in the apocalypse. It's time to head back to the city. This is the part where you can really get creative, since you have the whole city to choose from and pick the furniture that best suits your base. With the pickup option, you can grab flooring from any location you choose. But keep in mind that the higher your carpentry skill, the less likely you are to break the tiles. Make sure you have a crowbar for tiles, a knife for carpets, and a hammer for parquet. This option also lets you pick up almost any furniture you can imagine, such as fridges, ovens, TVs, lamps, and even windows and curtains. Just remember, always carry the proper tools for the job, because I don't want to have you taking the trip back empty-handed. Before starting to place in your base all the junk you could find back in town, it is important to plaster your walls. To do this, you'll need a bucket of water and a bag of plaster powder in your inventory. Right-click on the bucket of water and select Make Plaster to create a bucket of plaster. Then go to the nearest wooden wall and select the plaster option. Repeat this process for all the walls in your base. Once the walls are plastered, you can also paint them by having a bucket of paint and a brush on your inventory. It's time to put your electrical skills to use and decorate your base. Install the oven in the kitchen, set up lights in every room, and arrange your furniture in a cool way. Don't forget to install the windows and curtains you pick up earlier, and if you find a sink, you can install it on top of any counters. Also, that place we mentioned earlier in the second floor serves as a placeholder for rain collectors, which can be crafted with planks, nails, and garbage bags. In case you missed it, the rain collector goes one tile above the water tap. Once it's set up, head over to the sink, hit right click and select the plumb sink option. After that, the water from the rain collector will be redirected to your sink and you'll have a running source of clean water in your base. To get your generator up and running, grab the how to use generators Mac from libraries, schools or houses. Then right click on the generator, hit connect generator, add some gas and voila, you've got electricity for your base. Don't forget to build the pens around your base to keep those zombies out. It will give you some extra time to react if they come for you. And speaking of being prepared, make sure you have an escape plan in case of an emergency. You can use shit ropes made from clothing you scavenge of zombies. And with a hammer and a nail in your inventory, you can easily install them on a second floor or higher. That way, if the zombies catch you off guard, you can easily escape. Once you have completed all of that, you should have an amazing base to behold. I also wanted to share with you some useful mods I often use to build or improve my buildings. The first one is called More Buildings. 
and offers an improved drop-down menu with an array of building options, from brick walls to metal fences and more. Another helpful mod is the Remove Debris, which lets you remove the debris often found in green areas. That can make your floors more messy. And there's also Clean Dirt, which allows you to clean walls and floors for a spotless finish. Especially useful if you're improving a pre-built facility. I hope this guy has been useful to you. I certainly had a blast making it, because I enjoyed the base building aspect of Project Zomboid so much. Please let me know if you have any questions or if I missed anything in the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Click the link on screen to watch the full base tour in detail. Please don't forget to subscribe and as always, happy surviving. Bye bye.